This looks like a cross between a corkscrew and a walking stick. And 200 years ago it was used to pull one thing from another, but its purpose was much more sinister than opening bottles. What do you think it was? It wasn't for pulling corks, it was for pulling bullets. You see, 200 years ago or so, guns were all like this. They were muzzle loaders. They only had one opening and everything went in through the front. If you wanted to fire one, you had to do this. You had to get black powder and put in a measured amount. Then you had to get a patch, usually cut from linen, and that went over the front of the barrel like that. That was to provide a tight fit for the bullet, which was really a lead ball, just like a lead marble. It had to be forced in with a hammer and then pushed down with a ramrod. A very laborious business. And of course, when you're shooting duels or in the heat of battle, it was very easy to get mixed up. When you pulled the hammer back and put a percussion cap on there, rather like a cap you'd use in uh, a cap gun, and fired it, the cap went off, hit the powder, the powder blew up and forced the, the bullet out. But if you'd forgotten to put the powder in, you were really sunk, because you couldn't open up the barrel from behind and get the bullet out. It was wedged down there. And that's where the bullet puller came in. It was really like a corkscrew in that it went down there, and you used that spike to drive it hard into the soft lead of the bullet, screwing it round like this. Once it had a good grip on the bullet, you could pull it out, and with any luck, the bullet and the patch would all come out like that. And you could begin the process again. Well, that's, of course, how guns used to be made. These days, guns load from behind. You put cartridges in there. And one of the most dangerous things you can do now is to put anything down the front of a gun. So never try it. But 200 years ago, that's all they had to unload their guns. Curiosity, curiosity.